Hey, what's going on everyone? Design Coma here. Welcome back. And the gameplay you're watching is me playing some Black Ops 3. So, what's up for today's video? Well, first of all, hope everybody had an amazing 4th of July weekend and 4th of July. So, hopefully you got to take in some fireworks and some barbecue and all that good stuff and spend time with family and friends and just have a really good time. Uh, what we did over the weekend was... Pretty much the the same usual thing that families do. Uh, we had a super busy Saturday. It was my son's uh, JCLC leadership competition that he took part in for his ROTC. Uh, it was really great. It was really cool to see everything. All, all the all the kids had a great time. They got to do all kinds of cool stuff. Like they got to repel down walls. Um, they got to uh, do a little firearms shooting, but of course with pellet guns. You know nothing nothing bigger than a pellet gun. So they got to okay. use some pellet guns and have some fun with that use some team building skills and just have a really good time and learn some leadership skills so he really loved it he had a blast we didn't do any fireworks this year we we typically don't do too many fireworks because we've got so many neighbors that do cooler fireworks than we do because they buy the really cool ones so we just kind of hang out and watch their fireworks so i just watch the fireworks at their expense i guess you could call it so it's 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 a good time though it's it's good fun it's it's really nice to just do that something did kind Kind of happened over the weekend well it didn't kind of happen it did happen something happened over the weekend uh, to a 15 year old Texas boy and this made me think about the days when I was growing up with fireworks and things like that and to be honest with you I would do the same thing I, I couldn't imagine there isn't a single teenage boy out there who hasn't done this or at least a, a, a man now a grown man who would look back at their teenage years and realize you know I used to do the same stupid crap it's it's just something that I, I don't know I can't really explain it I suppose it's just it's one of those things with fireworks and explosions I suppose uh, needless to say thankfully I wasn't hurt at you know doing these things and taking part in this activity where you would um, modify the fireworks so ultimately what I would do when I was growing up was I would take either uh, numerous firecrackers of course back in the day when I was growing up firecrackers were not a legal firework that you could purchase they just weren't it was not easy to find those you know like m80s and things of those nature lady fingers all those fireworks they were ultimately not legal to purchase so what happened was is we would take some of these fireworks and just bundle them together and then make one big long wick after we you know tied all the other ones together and we would just light it and the thing would just go boom you know it's a bigger boom unfortunately for this 15 year old he took a bunch of sparklers and made a sparkler bomb now apparently there are a bunch of videos on youtube of this i didn't go look for any so if you want to look for them uh, feel free to do so but he took 180 sparklers and basically you bundle them together wrap them in duct tape I suppose and then you make a longer wick and you light them unfortunately for this 15 year old he was leaning down over it to light the uh, wick and it just went off I don't know if the wick was just burned faster than he expected I'm not sure but the darn thing went off it blew up in his face uh, blew off a bunch of his fingers he lost his leg literally lost his leg I think it was his left leg uh, I'd have to go back to the article and check, but I believe it, it was one of his legs anyway, from the knee down. Uh, he possibly has lost his eyesight. Uh, there's a 50% chance, so 50-50 he'll have it or not, or at least it's going to be severely impaired, I think. Yeah, it really took me back to think about the days when I would do, do these, you know, really really dumb things and it's fortunate that I was not injured in any way uh, I, I have had a firecracker go off on my hand but thankfully it was just close to my hand because I, I got it out quick enough and it just it didn't really do any major damage but uh, it, it really took me back to think about some of the some of the dumb things I did when I was growing up especially with fireworks and it's kind of funny because with my kids and fireworks I'm always very cautious about them handling the fireworks I I usually don't let them light them at all. It's, it's just one of those things where I have become the, the, the parent who realized that the things I did was stupid. Unfortunately, this 15-year-old is really a mess, and he's still in intensive care. His family is obviously upset and 
concern, and it's nothing he's never done in the past. Unfortunately, this time, this year, it just wasn't good. So I, I guess I guess the message here is really pay attention to what your kids are doing when it comes to fireworks, because I can tell you right now, they're going to be thinking about doing some really stupid things. And fireworks aren't over. Just because the 4th of July has come and gone, it doesn't mean fireworks are, are not going to be taking place for the rest of the month because I know here in Michigan at least in the city I'm, I'm in the fireworks just keep on going at least until the first part of August so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a like favorite subscribe and I will catch you in the next one